So, Bill, today's makeover has a red twist, which we're really excited about. Mm. And in between giving Haim her new look, you're going to give us the scoop on how this trending dyed red hair requires a little more love and care. you got to give it a little bit of tenderness, it's, right? It's true, but let me say first, we don't dye hair, we color we hair. We color hair, <laughs> sorry. I got oh, that yes, so we're wrong. very sensitive about that. No, it is a huge trend. The red is a huge trend. And I will tell you, it is the most beautiful, most difficult color to achieve and the most difficult color to get rid of when you're over it. Okay. <laughs> it really does stick around for a long time. But yes. it's beautiful. And you just have to know how to take care of it from the first stage to the last. Okay. Right? And there's also, there's different types of reds Absolutely. that we kind of need to know about. So break that down for so, us. So, you know, we, we have blue reds yeah. and orange reds or yeah. copper-based reds. So yeah. the copper-based reds are those bright coppery shades, the Irish setter reds, the gingers. Yes. And they work really well. Uh, and they're a very natural red. Mm -hmm. So when you think of something, think of Jessica Chastain. Yes. Think of Julianne Moore or the, the supermodel, Canadian supermodel, Stacey McKenzie. Yes. Light, 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 light skin, that yes. coppery, coppery red hair. It's stunning. Yeah. The other side is the blue reds, mm -hmm. the beautiful mahoganies and the burgundies. And we think, we, we know that when you have a more of an olive tone skin or a darker skin, mm -hmm. those colors work a little bit better. Okay. Because the orange reds, when your, your skin tone is a little bit darker, it pulls out too much yellow. Yeah. Whereas the blue reds, the burgundies, the, the mahoganies are so gorgeous. On the other hand, when you're really super pale, you go into the blue red, it's very goth. Yeah. Like you can look a little bit dead, okay. right? Okay. Now, All if right. that's the look you're going for, have Great. at it. Have at it. Yeah. But that's how we sort of distinguish between the, the copper reds and the blue reds and who Very wears them. Very interesting. And of course, the blue reds don't exist in nature. No. They're, they're no one, manufactured and that's okay. That's okay. No one grows burgundy hair yes. anywhere in the world. <laughs> but no one grows Cadillac red lips either. That's so right. So if it looks good on you, put it on. Wear Have it. Some Wear fun. it proudly. It's fashion. It's fun. It's hair color. It is. My, my favorite years of my mother were the burgundy years. Yeah, totally. You know, late yes. 80s, early 90s. I loved it. Okay, so let's talk about washing your red hair and what okay. we need to know about doing that properly. Okay, so you want to start to use a color protect shampoo and conditioner right away. Okay. You don't wait for the color to fade. You really have to jump on it. Mm -hmm. The other thing, it's you. It's imperative you don't overwash your hair. Okay. Doesn't matter what kind of hair you have, from super curly to super straight. The more you wash it, that red color is going to fade out really, really, really quickly. Okay. So I always say, wash your hair when it's dirty. Yeah. And if that means an extra day of dry shampoo, great doesn't matter. Wash your hair when it's dirty, the less you do it, and use really good shampoos and conditioners from the beginning. Yes. You know how you know this is really good? It's in a teeny tiny little <laughs> bottle, whereas my shampoo is like in a bucket. A really so... tiny bottle with a really big price. <laughs> with a really big price. Really like, big this price. is the right shampoo yeah, that you one. need. And speaking of washing, we need to talk about conditioning as well. Right. So you always want to use a color protect conditioner, even yes. though you might think your hair doesn't need conditioner because it might be fine. Mm -hmm. This kind of conditioner is designed to lock the color in. Mm -hmm. So it won't weigh your hair down, it won't make your roots greasy. Keep the color the conditioner away from your roots anyway. Yeah. But it's more to protect your color. Now, a lot of manufacturers now have conditioners with color in them. Okay. These are fantastic. This happens to be an orange red one yeah. that comes in, like I said, the iris setter red or a real light coppery ginger. Yes. Or it comes in all the blue shades as well. Okay. Once a week, from, from right from the beginning when you start uh, washing your hair after your color, use this. It'll really hold on. A lot better. Okay, so you need to maintain that color, and that's what you're trying to do. Right. Let's get into the heat instruments because uh, that's what we do with our hair. Oh boy, turn down the heat. Turn it Man, down. And if I take a hot uh, blower like this or a hot smoothing iron mm -hmm. on freshly red hair, I will literally watch the color fade before my Ooh. eyes. It's it's crazy. Okay. So turn it down, medium heat, uh, medium heat here. I learned this during during COVID actually, yeah. that every hair texture has a sweet spot for temperature to curl or straighten, and it's about 365 to 370 degrees. Oh. So you don't need to jack it up to 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. Even if you've got a super texture, super yeah. straight or super curly, you don't need to go that high. Turn it down, and on day two, yeah. turn it down even lower. It's already done, so all you're That's doing true. is yeah, all you're doing is kind of re-engaging your hair a little bit, right? Yes. So you can take it right down, and you will not believe the difference. In, in how long your red lasts. It's interesting because I think we all go up to 425 because we're trying to do it fast. Totally. We're trying to do it fast and we're passing it through more than once and that's not good because that breaks it. That's not good for right? your hair texture, for your hair color, yes. for your ends. Think about when your hair is long, how old that hair is. Right. Right? It's four or five years old. Gosh, so why are you just dating me and that like, oh my God, my hair is so old. <laughs> no, the style I is. I need new hair. <laughs> but 
I hear the shouts are saying it's all dead. <laughs> Oh, I'm I out. No. <laughs> I get the point. No, but you don't want to hit hair that is four and five years old that's had yes. three or four summers on it oh with all God. that heat. And okay. just watch and watch that really beautiful, expensive color disappear, right? Yes. So that's why we really turn the heat down. Just really quickly about red hair, because it is about maintaining that color. How often should you be going in to get your color updated? You know, if you're doing a full head color, it's yeah. best to do it at the four to six week period. Uh -huh. Your roots are the healthiest part of your hair. So when we when you have a quarter of inch of root and we put color on that, it's the healthiest part. Is there's no damage, and we only have to refresh the ends for maybe three to five minutes. Okay. When you go with an inch of root, we need to leave it on, but then we need to comb it through the ends for could be 15 minutes. Oh. You put that chemical on those again, those ends. Yes. You know, you're breaking every time you do that, you're breaking them down. You're making them weaker. Got so it. it's actually healthier for your hair to color it more often. If you do red highlights, mm -hmm. you can ask your stylist to actually put a gloss together for you or something like that, okay. that you can refresh those highlights at home pretty easily or use a, use a color conditioner like that. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. Don't stress out your old hair, everybody. <laughs> Bill, thank you. I cannot wait to see what you're doing with Haim's oh, hair. She oh, looks great. my gosh. So stay tuned. Her big reveal is coming up later in the